Hey, hi, Sarojit. Thank you very much for joining today. It's it's indeed pleasure and honor to have you today. Thank you. It's my pleasure too, sir. Uh, I think very short discussion today. I'll tell you, sure. and is work pertaining to the market like India. In last probably I would say in eight years we have seen a tremendous growth, right? Across specifically in the digital perspective, uh, double digit growth of around 15.5 percent CAGR. <coughs> Uh, infrastructure requirements have you know surpassed all demand uh, from global globally related perspective right uh, i want to discuss more around it but first question is very simple capital land as such as an organization which is presenting 260 countries uh, how come data centers i mean the relationship with the data centers and it parks and then you know real estate can you give us more insights on it uh, understanding more on a capital land perspective Sure. Uh, Capital Land uh, Sahil is a very large diversified real estate group, right from uh, the IT park, logistics, uh, retail, consumer. Uh, data center was not a very surprise choice because the way uh, as a group our focus has always been into the alternate asset class. We have also been looking very, very strategically and India is a very focused market for Capital Land as yeah. a group. With our core strategic partner, Ascenders India Trust, who is also a REIT in, in Singapore and who does all the funding into all the various asset class, yeah. they had an eye for this for a very long time. And I think to that, I would say we entered India at the very right time, sure. where we saw this technology boom. Uh, data center also is a very high capex intensive business, True. which also is needed for a long term gestation. And that's where we feel, felt that from a group perspective, 2017 onwards our journey started. And in 18 we entered India. And that's how we have been able to build a roadmap, you know, across. Oh, brilliant. I mean, leading to the second question, uh, there could be various mechanics uh, you would deploy to be present in India. Sure. What's the roadmap looks like in India? I mean, how do you want to create a data center asset class uh, for, for you guys in India? We want to be very strategic. Hmm. We want to be uh, be present in all the core markets. With 5G now getting rolled out, sure. our next thought process is around edge. So having said that, and I'm sure you're aware that uh, data center needs a lot of infrastructure support from a ground perspective. Sure. Whether it is the right land parcel, all the necessary approvals, the power, the connectivity, all these will play a very major role. Sure. Capital Land will ensure that they are present at the right place with the right investments and this infrastructure would be developed completely keeping the end user in mind which means we would be very flexible we would be very hybrid in nature as we move along so surajit i think uh, one important factor is that government has recently given a status uh, of infrastructure sure and second they are very poised to invest into it yes we are seeing a lot of state data centers, government initiatives coming up through. Uh, how do you think India is kind of poised for higher growth in the data center market as such? Uh, to me, Sahil, I think it's a very relevant question because from an Asia hub perspective, which we are seeing in Singapore, a monitorium being ex because of the power challenges, yeah. the next phase of growth is India. Reason is very simple. Investments are being seen in this sector around 8 billion USD by 2026 yes. with an incremental investment about 4 odd billion in this sector. A uh, lot of private equity players, global data center operators, they are entering yeah. in India to engage. Government's policy in terms of the data protection bill, the uh, state uh, policies rolling down on uh, incentives on setting up data center infrastructures True. is catching a lot of attention and with the end user market of the so called the cloud boys mm -hmm. and the enterprises which are also growing at a rampant space True. I think this is the right time for this sector mm -hmm. to invest for future with IOT mm -hmm. with 5G rolled out I think the next phase of growth from the primary markets will move to the tier 2 tier 3 to create the infrastructure of what we call edge. Got it, got it. Uh, so, this is the last part of it, of our discussion. One, it is a mature market, no doubt. People are entering, but it has been in existence for quite some time. When it's maturing from a player's perspective, 
capital land needs to do a differentiation, right? I mean, one is why capital land is kind of giving a differentiation. And the flavor of the buying behavior is also changing. Yes. We are looking at sustainability playing a very important role. Carbon credits are playing a very important role. Net, you know, uh, neutralism is playing an important role. Uh, any, any insights from what capital and strategy would be? Very pertinent. And I think the entire global uh, ecosystem is working towards that. Yeah. Nothing new for us. I think uh, sustainability is in core of, uh, you know, the mandate of capital and as a group. From a data center perspective, and we all know data centers are power guzzlers and they emit a lot of uh, carbon. carbon. So I think few steps we are also taking in this space, which is one, we are trying to create a technology in which we keep the PUE at about 1.4, 1.5 level. We are trying to use air chilled coolers so that the global warming emissions are less. We are saving natural water resource Excellent. in doing that. We are also possibly uh, trying to see that how we can use green power. Now, whether it could be wind, whether it could be solar, or even it could be hybrid. Capital and in this space have already started investing into power plants for their IT parks. And we, we see a logical extension also moving into our industry. The advantage here we had that we capital and presence in India with three two other business lines is also giving us a little edge in right. terms of technology being moved into the next sector. Obviously, the data center will come with all lead and green certifications. Yeah. And end of the day, I think we are very very focused in ensuring that green is we are able to achieve at least thirty percent to our core objective. Oh, brilliant! Excellent. Fair to say, if I have to relate capital land, it's the next generation data center which we can call it. It's the future of the data center which you're trying to bring it uh, in a one one statement. With this, thank you very much, Sajid. Thank you for your time today. Pleasure, sir. It's uh, uh, it's being pleasure and honor to thank hang you. on. The thank you so much for calling me. It was a wonderful session. Sure. Thank, thank you. you.